God oh, blimey, I have got really severe heartburn. <laughs> I've never had it before and it is really uncomfortable. And I started to do some investigative journalism on the internet and found out that during times of stress, which we're all under, and a little change in our diet sometimes triggers heartburn. So heartburn symptoms are feeling a tight, tightness in your chest and I thought I had a vitamin stuck in my throat. Um, so tightness in your chest, a sour taste in your mouth, um, a little bit of belching and bloating after meals. Um, it often feels worse when you're lying down. Um, and I'm trying to think what other symptoms I have, but that kind of, that's it. A um, couple of things that you need to change. And it, like I said, we're all under stress right now. My diet has changed a little bit. There's a little bit more of the antioxidants in the form of red wine, um, a little bit more caffeine, uh, sometimes some soothing chocolate I have been known to partake in, uh, eating meals later at night because we're having more sunlight, uh, spicy foods, um, kind of those things, just a change in our diet because of the situation. Um, so obviously, in order to combat heartburn, there's some things that we can do. One of the things is to take a um, digestive enzyme. So digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar, probiotics are all good for heartburn. And I'm talking natural symptoms here. Obviously, if you've got it very severely, you need to go and see a doctor and make sure it's not, not something more serious. But um, changing our food. So making sure we're not eating big meals right before bed and avoiding spicy food, avoiding fried food, avoiding too many refined grains and sugar and chocolate and alcohol. And those are all the major food groups. Yes, I know. Um, and caffeine. So those are the things that could trigger it. And then increasing the amount of parsley, fennel, ginger, bone broth, yogurts, healthy fats, good free-range chicken and grass-fed beefs and uh, green leafy vegetables. Those are all good things to really give us some good stomach acid because actually heartburn is caused by a decrease in our stomach acid. Um, the other thing is if we're taking antibiotics and ibuprofen or Advil, that also increases our chances of heartburn. So all these things that are going on in the world right now really are leading to an increase in heartburn patients. So some really hopefully helpful hints if you are suffering. The other thing I read, and I actually tried this, was to chew five almonds, so raw almonds or toasted almonds right after or right before or after when you get an attack. Um, and I tried it and it actually worked. So I'm going to get some fresh, or not fresh almonds, but some uh, almonds today and use those. But, you know, drink plenty of water, apple cider vinegar, some really natural um, benefits to just changing your diet and just being aware, you know, make sure you get out and exercise. Don't overtrain. That's another thing that actually makes heart burn worse. Um, but just take care of yourself because these are trying times. Our bodies are all reacting differently. We can't get the normal support that we would have. And uh, hopefully this helps if you're a heartburn sufferer like me.